welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, we're gonna be talking about what my 2015 favorites are. Uh, there is a ton of products in 2015 that I loved and that I really liked using, but this video would be so, 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 so long because I'm the type of person who likes using different products and trying them out. And yeah, so what I think I'm gonna do is my most used makeup items in 2015 drugstore and high-end oh and also i want to tell you guys if you guys hear like feet scratching or little whimpers i'm dog sitting my best friend's dog you guys know i have harley and toby so they're all outside of the door literally staring at me right now like i want to go in there but that just can't happen because of my lights and stuff and excuse this mess i didn't clean it up because i felt like it'd be like oh makeup room hanging out talking about it and whatever okay so i'm going to go in the order of which i applied on my face i didn't even take any of it out because i have it right here so i'm just going to grab uh random makeup items and just talk to you about them so when i first do my makeup i start out with my brows and for 2015 the brow products that i have been killing i mean killing is this these salon perfect brow pomades these little suckers come with a little brush with it. They look like this. And this whole little duo set is amazing. And when I went blonde, I used this for when my hair was blonde and brown and then a darker brown. I absolutely love this stuff. It's super affordable. It makes um, your lashes, or your lashes, <laughs> your eyebrows last all day. It blends out super easy. The spoolie on the end of that brush works good. The tip of that brush works good. And yes, I totally recommend you guys try these. I will definitely be using them in 2015 and they were a staple in, yeah, to, wait, 2016 and they were a staple in 2015, whatever, blah, blah. And then these brow pencils by L'Oreal, the brow stylist designer pencils. I use blonde and then the uh, dark brown brunette pencil. This has kind of a waxy feel to it and it has a spoolie on the end and it works amazingly. I get compliments most whenever I use this thing, which is weird, when I just like brush them really quick and then apply a little bit of the pencil and then boom, out of the door. I freaking love those and that is absolutely what I've been using the most. And then for cleaning up, I really like the MAC Studio Concealer. You don't have to go and get this uh, concealer to clean up your brows, but I absolutely love it. It's a thicker consistency. I know that like NYX, uh, NYX has a little jar concealer like that that would work well for it as well because I used to use it. But I don't know, I just always use this little bad boy to clean up my brows. So. Yeah, I think that when I run out of this, I will definitely go get more just because I really like how um, the consistency is with my brows. Okay, now what would I do next? Next would be my um, eyeshadow. Now for my eyeshadow, the, nor the only time that I ever like venture out and do something bold is if I'm doing something for a video. Nine times out of ten when I'm like out in real life, I don't really wear bright colorful eyeshadows. Sometimes I get a wild hair and like want to wear like blue or green or purple or something like that. Well actually purple I really like on myself so I'll wear that more. But I have been using Makeup Geek shadows so 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 much. The foiled shadows. There's not any specific colors. Just basically all of them. <laughs> but I will tell you the ones <clears throat> that I use almost every day to do like to smoke out my crease or just to give myself like a subtle smoky eye or whatever. And I will tell you guys exactly what shades they are. I use Frappe a ton in my crease just for that blown out uh, transition color. And then I use Barcelona Beach a lot, which is a warm toned uh, brown. I also use this orangey color, which is called Chickadee. And those three are all mattes. And then the next two that I really, really love are Cocoa Bear. Cocoa Bear I use so much in so many different looks. And Mocha, Mocha is supposed to be like this really, uh, it looks like it's gonna be like this really dark, dark, dark brown, but on myself, it's um, a color that you want for just a subtle depth, like to put in your outer corner if you wanna smoke it out just a little bit. It doesn't show up super, super, super dark or anything like that, you see that? That's not like the darkest brown ever, but it's just the perfect color, Mocha is what it's called. And then I also really have been loving the color Morocco. It's like those orange tone colors that are just so beautiful. I really like them on my skin tone. And yeah, and also when I highlight, highlight, what's a highlight? Highlight my brow bone, I use White Lies, which is freaking fabulous. So when I'm not using my um, Makeup Geek shadows, I also use 
use. <clears throat> I use the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. I used this so much, not so much recently of 2015, but in the beginning of it, I used this so much. I really, really like it. They're all matte shadows. You can create endless matte looks with this, and I don't think you would be disappointed if you bought this product. So yeah, for eyeshadows, those have 100%. Oh, and of course, like ColourPop shadows. I used ColourPop so much last year, and yeah, I love them. There's no specific um, color that I used. I just, I played with literally all of them. They're really beautiful colors uh, to play with on your lid. Like for instance, I'll give you two example or one example, a uh, cheap date. Oh, it's gorgeous. They have the coolest texture. It's like moussey feeling. And you see that they just, they are so shimmery, so gorgeous. They're the perfect, like if you want shimmer on your eye or like a birthday kind of, um, look, you know what I mean? Like you want shimmer and stuff like that on your birthday or even new year's, whatever. We already passed that, but you get what I'm kind of trying to say with that. Um, after eyeshadow, I would do eyeliner. Now the eyeliner, that I have been freaking loving, and I'm about to restock her REU eyeliner, is the, oh, no, that's not it. See, this is why you're supposed to be organized, Melissa, so they don't have to wait for your ass. Okay, here we go. I found it. The Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Literally, I feel like I used this the entire year, or maybe not the entire year, but when I got it, this has just been making my wing game so strong, and uh, it's not the mattest finish that you would like. It kind of has like that shiny black kind of finish, but the tip of this just lets you make that really perfect little wing, and if you wanted to use like a gel liner first just to make sure that it's like super black super matte and then you just take this to like really fling out the wing you know what I'm saying that's perfect for that I guarantee you that if you buy this you won't regret it especially if you are a winged liner girl and uh, what else did I use this year for eyeliner I think I already threw it away, but I used the hell out of the It Cosmetics gel liner pencil. It wasn't my favorite, honestly, just because I couldn't work it in there really good, but it didn't smear on my contacts, which is always a plus. So, um, yeah. I guess you could say that was one of my favorites, well, most used. But definitely, this Kat Von D one got its use. It's out now. <laughs> I need to get another one. Now, after I would do eyeliner, I would do mascara. Now, for mascara, the one that I used all year, this one by CoverGirl, which surprises me because I usually don't like CoverGirl mascaras. And using it now, because I've been using this one nonstop, the uh, Falsies Push-Up Drummer, I love this mascara so much for my thin lashes. This one I feel like I don't really like anymore and I don't know why I used it for as long as I did. I did like it so much and used the hell out of it because I bought like three tubes of this was because it separated them really, really nicely. And I have, again, thin lashes. So when something can separate them and make it look like I have more than just one, then I like it. And of course I use it in waterproof. And yeah, I use that, but Lord have mercy that my best Absolute favorite mascara for this year, or last year is the Moonstruck 3D Fiber Lashes. This is the new formula. It isn't the old one. It isn't the one that comes in the little like um, glasses looking type of case. This one comes in like a sliding box. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff so much. I feel like it saves my short little lashes life. And it just makes my lashes look like they're falsies. And sometimes I don't feel like fooling with falsies, which by now I've already like mastered applying them. So it's not a big deal for me to just like slap them on there but sometimes you just I just don't feel like wearing them I just don't feel like putting them on and this stuff literally amps them up I'll put my first layer of whatever mascara I'm loving at the moment and then this bad boy and then boom I have the best lashes in town and yeah oh and for lash glue I freaking I'm telling you I'm obsessed with the Revlon Lash Glue in black. I'm all out of it, and I literally cannot find that shit anywhere. In stores, it's like cleaned out. Nowhere in my area does that freaking lash glue exist, so I'm gonna have to order it on Amazon. I don't know why I haven't yet. I just, um, yeah, I need to. But I forgot that I had this House of Lashes uh, glue adhesive, and this is in black, and it works super amazing. It's very, very, very comparable, comparable, comparable to the Revlon Lash Glue. I'm not sure which one is more expensive, but either or, they work pretty much exactly the same. You don't have to wait forever for it to dry, and you can just, yeah, stick them on your uh, eye. Super, super easy, and it's already black, so you don't have to uh, line it back with black eyeliner. It's freaking fabulous. I love it. 
and uh, lashes. The, la the two pairs of lashes that absolutely are just my favorite are Salon Perfect's 614 and Salon Perfect 615s. I love 614s for when I'm not wearing a wing liner, even though I am wearing them right now and I'm wearing a wing liner. <laughs> but I absolutely love them alone, like just a blown out eyeshadow look by itself, no wing liner, it looks so amazing. And a 615 looks better to me with a wing liner. But these two, I feel like I haven't worn any other kind of lashes. And the reason is, is you cannot feel this these when they're on your eyes. They're so lightweight, they're so easy to put on, they're so affordable, which I absolutely love. And yes, these are my favorite lashes ever. And apparently these are really hard to find. So when you can find them, you grab as many as you can because they're so awesome. I love them to pieces. All right, so is that it with eyes? <clears throat> yes. What do we do next? After I do my eyes, I end up doing my face. And the first thing that I'll do is prime my skin. My primer that I've been using a ton is this Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield broad spectrum SPF 30 treats blurs protects I really love this stuff because it has that silicone feel to it and I just feel like it makes my skin look so flawless or the foundation on top of it I don't know if today if it's because of the new foundation that I'm trying but it makes me look like I have pores and usually it looks so smooth underneath but today I didn't use this so I'm wondering if that's why or if it's just the foundation on my skin but I, yeah, I really, really enjoy this stuff. I really like that there's an SPF in it and yeah, I'm protected and blurred at the same time. Is there any other primers that I use? All right guys, so, so, so sorry. So I'm holding this in my hand because I can't find my little tripod holder, but I forgot concealers. And the concealers that I loved, loved, loved so much where, uh, where they are, <laughs> Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer, and this one is in Light Neutral. Loved it, loved it, loved it, and also Maybelline's Fit Me. I use the MAC Pro Longwear in NW25, but I think I would definitely say the Naked Skin. I just used it so, 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 so much. And the other thing that, the other primer that I forgot to mention was the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer Primer. This makes this area look really nice and it just made my foundation sit on my face um, nicer, you know what I mean? Like what primers claim to do and yeah, this one and the, um, what is it, Murad one were a stand up. I love them together. Okay, I will put this back in there and let you guys continue watching. Oh, I use the heck out of these two sprays. Uh, this Scandinavia Primer Makeup. I'll spray this on my face like a lot actually. If I like want to wet the product, like my concealer, I'll spray my face after I apply it and then blend it out. It just makes it feel better whenever you blend it out that way. And then to set it all, I'll use the makeup finishing spray. But yeah, I really, 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 really love these sprays. And for foundations, the two that I used so, so, so much last year is the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying. I freaking love this foundation, especially because I have dry skin, but I mix it with L'Oreal Lumi's Healthy Luminous Makeup. And the reason why that I do that is because this can be super, super, super matte. And by adding just a little bit of a luminous uh, foundation to it, it's just perfect. I absolutely love the way my foundation looks whenever I have this on. And I'm telling you, it lasts forever. It's fabulous. And my next favorite one, I love this Dior Air Flash. I use this whenever I know that I'm gonna take a lot of pictures. It doesn't have any SPF in it, and I swear I'm telling you, this. I feel like this foundation looks great on all skin types. Uh, dry, oily, and I just say that just because I've tried it on so many different people and it looks just amazing on their skin. And if you have dry skin and you love this, let us know down below, that way you can help them out if they do have dry skin. Uh, the color that I'm in is in uh, honey beige, and yes, this just, I really like the way that it looks on my skin. It just makes me feel super airbrushed and it's my like, if I'm going somewhere fancy foundation. And after I put my foundation on, I like to set it. Okay, and then after I um, put that on, I set it with, uh, I love Laura Mercier's uh, translucent powder. This stuff is so amazing. It just, it makes your face look um, poreless. You know what I mean? It just 
creates a nice little uh, base or locks everything in without adding color to it and making it look cakey. You know what I mean? You just need the littlest bit to set your face, but you can also use this to set underneath your eyes if you want to. But I use this sometimes, but I personally love the Ben Nye Banana Powder, and I don't know why. I just, I use this so, 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 so much underneath my eyes, and I think it's because I love the fact that it's um, a yellow tint. I will say, I think that this is more finely milled than this. So if you are super dry underneath your eyes, then this would probably be a better bet than the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I don't know, I just, it's my tried and true. I've used this stuff for two years now, and every time I wear it, I just feel like I look flawless, like, I just feel like I look really, you know, like the makeup face, you know, I just feel like that uh, adds extra to it. And uh, for bronzer, I've been using the hell out of Kat Von D's Shade Light palettes. This thing has been used. I've hit pan on two of them. I will mix these two to bronze my face and then I will contour my face with this shade. I will highlight underneath the contour with that shade, underneath my eyes with that. And sometimes I'll mix those two together to put underneath my eyes. But I absolutely love this thing and this is literally all I've been using. Like if I need to bring something with me, this is what I'll pack for my bronzer. But of course, you know, you use different products throughout the year, but most abused, I would say, this. Okay, so after we contour, we are gonna be putting blush on. And for blush, I use my Makeup Geek um, blushes a ton. The main one that I used is Infatuation and Bliss. And the reason why I liked those two is because they're kind of peachy type of colors and I just feel like that's what looks great on my skin tone. And I would use those. And then I also use this Sonia Kashuk duo. I mean, I use this one probably almost every single day and I feel like I can customize the amount of like orangish salmon-y kind of color. This is what I have on my cheeks right now and I literally wear it every day. I freaking love this and it gives me that subtle kind of uh, bronzy glow that I like and uh, yeah. I've had this for forever and I don't know what it is, but last year I just used the heck out of it. And after blush for highlight. For highlight, I loved, of course, I feel like this was everyone's favorite highlighter, is uh, Becca's Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. This is the best highlighter. I love it on my skin tone. I have it on myself right now. I just, oh, I love this stuff. And just heard the news that this is actually going to be a permanent color, so congrats, Jaclyn, that's amazing. And yes, that means you can get your hands on it too if you don't already own it, I think you will love it, especially if you are anywhere in my skin range. It works so fabulous. And also another one that I use the hell out of is this Makeup Forever highlighter right here. This one is like a um, gold tone one and it's fabulous in the summer. And this one is in number two. And what I like to do also with the bronzer side is use it as a blush. So I'll like mix that with my blush if I want it to look more bronzy. And yeah, this is a really, really great highlighter if you like uh, gold tones and especially for the summer. And after highlights, we put on our lips. Wow, see, I'm moving here. I'm trying not to uh, include all this uh, bogus product so it's not forever. Lips, I have a ton of lip products, well, kind of. Anyways, so for lips, and I also tried to find the one lip liner that I used so much, but I cannot find it anywhere. I literally cannot find it anywhere. And you're probably thinking, well, look at that damn mess. That's why you can't find it. I know, girl, I know. But I, yes, I wanted to show it to you at least. But yes, I gave up on looking for that damn thing. Yeah, whatever, but it's Milani's Statement Lip Liner in Spice. I will link a video down below where I use it, and I actually use it in my one of my newest videos, the How to Apply Liquid Lipstick video. That that line, that lip liner, I freaking love. I think a lot of you guys will like it, especially if you like the Kylie Jenner kind of color type lips. Um, Milani lip liners, period, I just feel like are really good lip liners for um, drugstore, and I really like the one called All Natural, which looks like that. I also really like the one called Nude, which looks like that. It's a little bit more of a rosy color than the first one. And then I also really like the color Coco, which I'll use for like, uh, if I'm wearing a nude lip, I'll kind of outline my lips a little bit with this and then blend it in 
with the uh, lipstick. And yes, I really like those three lip liners. And for lip products, the lipstick that I used a lot for my nude lips is this NARS Audacious Lipstick in Raquel. This is a really beautiful uh, rosy kind of nude. It's got a pink undertone for sure, but it looks really good with like a brown liner mixed with it. And for the liquid lipsticks that I use a ton, and the liquid lipsticks that I used a ton are Kat Von D's Lolita, which is like a really beautiful color. It's really deep. And I really liked mixing it with Stila's liquid lipstick in Patina. This is called Patina, right? Yep. That's Patina. And then for ColourPop, I really loved um, Beeper. Beeper and Instigator I used a lot. Instigator looks so great with spice. It's like an orange nude. Beeper. Such a pretty color. <coughs> and Instigator. Yep, and that is for lips. Is that it? Oh, for curling my lashes, I use, love Shiseido's eyelash curler, freaking bomb scheme. Let you see those swatches while I'm sitting here thinking of anything else. Oh, and for lips, I love Murad's Rapid Collagen Infusion for Lips. It's so amazing for liquid lipsticks. I feel like it just made the wear of those so much more appealing on the mouth. It didn't look as dry. Of course, they're going to be drying. That's what liquid lipsticks are. But yes, I think it made it look much better than it without it. And yes, I'm just going to leave that there. If I left something out, I'll be sure to list it down below. Um, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys learned a couple new products that maybe you guys should try. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys for such an amazing 2015. It's probably the best year of my YouTube life. It was just uh, amazing. Let's make 2016 even more amazing and I know it will be because it's already so amazing. And yeah, thanks for sitting through this video you guys. I love you. Bye.